the room where we had our first Flat Earth Pennsylvania meetup. This is some of the educational pieces and props that were brought that ended up being extremely useful. We did have an itinerary that was set up for us. Um, Marilyn Teed is the one that organized this whole event. She did a fantastic job. We also had a David and a Richard attend and myself. Um, but just because things didn't go as planned, I'm here to tell you that what happened next is fantastic. Please listen to the stranger that came in and had a wonderful conversation with us. That's why you never see no curve. Look at real life. Just real look. observations. The Bible says, consider my creation. You gotta look. Open your eyes and look outside. You see what it says. There's a story yeah. in the Bible that talks about, and I'm, I'm probably going to misquote it, that doesn't a Watch character in the mean. Bible that stops the sun from cycling, right? Joshua. Joshua. Ten, I think it is. Yeah. Stops the sun from moving. Now, if we lived on a a heliocentric model where the the ball was spinning a thousand miles per hour how could he stop the sun from moving if we're actually supposed to be the one that's moving when in reality he stopped the sun from cycling the sun yeah. literally cycles now yeah this is hard to realize if the ball because we're used to thinking that the sun is so big it's like a clock but instead of the sun being 93 million miles away and being gigantic and the moon right. is 239,000 miles away and it rotates around us the sun and moon are similar size, which is what we observe, right? When we look outside and the moon is full and the sun, they look very similar in size and they look very close. Yeah. They cycle like a record player. Both of them together. I do. They circle around the earth? Like a giant timepiece. Uh -huh. So do the stars. And why were they put there? They're put there for timing, for seasons. Right. Crepuscular rays. You ever see the sun come through the clouds? Yeah. And they go at angles? Yeah. <coughs> that can only happen if the sun is close. Okay. If it was 93 million, million miles, miles away, away, they'd all come in at the same parallel. They tell us they're parallel rays of sun, and that all the sun rays we see should be coming in parallel, and they should be hitting all right. areas of that ball. Right, just like they said. The sun and the moon, they, they're close and, and local, just like they appear. Without all these distances, we can't we barely can see a, a 747, 35,000 feet in the sky, right? So, no matter how big the sun is, uh, um, it, we, we wouldn't be able to see it 93 million miles away. It's just nonsense. And see, this is the, the Alexander Gleason map. It um, was the, the AE map, the Azimuth Expedition Projection Map, <coughs> right? This is the outer ice rim. Guess where this was made? 1892. They went out there, the cryptographers back then, Cook. So why are they giving us all this deception that the world... Because they want to rule the you. world. Yeah, and that's... They want to hide God. Right, hide God. God. If you had millions of people who knew God existed, they would be listening to him and not to them. Everything would be different. Think about how different it would be if we all treated each other differently. Right. We, would, we would have no reason to... Yeah. fake wars and attack each other. We would have no right. reason for genetically modified food or poisoning. We would not food. allow it. Right. Right, right now, right. they're we in charge. Right. We would be burning fossil fuels if we knew we lived in a, a, a terrarium, basically. Right. right. We wouldn't be burning fossil fuels, right? Did you ever hear of Tesla? Yeah. Tesla knew that there was free energy. That's why they destroyed it. Right. He knew we lived on yep. flat Earth. Yep. Uh, That's why he didn't make no money and killed them. And then after, after they destroyed, JP died. Morgan said, yeah. Where do I put the meter? Right, and Tesla said, No, it's free for everybody. And he destroyed him. And here's the thing, Steve people are waking up to this deception. Millions of people around the world. Okay. Millions of people yep. around the world. See, they couldn't, they couldn't control the internet. Yeah. Right. 
right. so they're trying to right. as much as they can they're passing laws as we speak today they're trying to control they got rid of net neutrality you remember yeah. our nation secrets this is our this is our nation secrets our nation secrets have our been exposed they're secrets. out think about it you're article treaty right the longest treaty ever <clears throat> did you ever hear about that and article treaty no yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, they made a treaty back in the, what, 50s? Yes, 1950, I think, four. It yeah. was enacted, like 1956, something like, something like that. Nobody's allowed to go down there. Yeah. It's all governed, it's all controlled by or military. You, you can go they don't visit. want you to find the edge. Right. You can go and visit. They don't you want can, you to see our true nature right. and reality, right? You, you can visit, it takes a lot of money, and you can take a little tour, and they take you to a certain spot, and right. then you go. But big companies, they're not allowed to go down and look for oil. They're not allowed to go down and look for resources. And this is guaranteed across the board, all nations. Where have you ever heard of that happening anywhere ever? Where we agreed with something, we didn't fight each other over right. it, especially when countries. it came from, right. yeah. especially when it comes to resources. Right. And that that treaty is not up for um, negotiation, negotiation right. until the, uh, the 2040. Right. And they'll probably re up it. <laughs> you may not go there unescorted. Right. No. And they show you to a little South Pole, and it's a fake one, and they it's even admit pole, it's yeah. fake. And now it's 52 nations, and they all do all guard this whole, they're all in on it. All the other fake space agencies, they're all in on it. Now, We're just the boss. We're just running the show in America. Now, before that, now why did they make that treaty? We had the nations were actually exploring. Antarctica, right. and they were doing experiments where they were literally launching rockets into what they thought was space, and they were hitting a barrier. What was it called? Project like Fishbowl. Fishbowl. Yeah, fishbowl. Right. <laughs> so Operation Fishbowl. Operation Fishbowl. Think about it. Operation Fishbowl. Think about it. Yeah. Operation, yeah. Fishbowl. Think about it. Yeah. Think about it. Operation yeah. Deep Freeze. Right. Operation Paperclip. Operation Deep God. Freeze. Yep. Operation yeah. High Jump. So these ice walls are hundred feet deep. Admiral Byrd went down there in the late 40s and early 50s well, he TV. was even on long jeans on the yeah. t television and said yeah. i was down there and i saw this and that and whatnot well um he, he found the one resources he and found man. he lost like what nine airplanes because yeah. they crashed into the dome they crashed into the dome man it's the bounds of the earth and he said guess what else did hide more land out of birds or national tv right and said that there's more land. So more land if you resources. go so far, hmm. you got to stop. There's you're going to hit ice wall no matter where you go. Okay. On a flat earth, everything is But south. you're talking about sky, into the sky? Yeah, there's a dome. That there's some kind of protective, I mean, some people say that they think it's hard shell like glass or like a... The Bible like says a crystalline a dome. Molten, like a, it looks like a molten, a molten glass. Yeah, a molten yeah. glass. And that's biblical. It's I mean, biblical. we're going by... Right, everything they say, everything they say, everything the Bible says, right? The Old Testament, right? Everything the Bible says, right? They said that. Why do you think we have so many atheists? Right? You believe in the Bible, right? Why do you believe in God, right? So now, come, you can't why are they mock Christians? Right. Here's another. Here's another story. With they're share. demons from hell. That's they are. Right? Yep. There's demons, Satanists. They yep. are. They're. Uh, they use uh, so much tactics. To hurt, you know, to hate Christian people. Right. They hate them. They do hate them. Yes. You know why? They serve because a different we are, God. They serve a God in this world. Right. Because right. we are God's children. Absolutely. And they were thrown out. And they hate right. us. Right. They but know who the Father is. Think about this story. Uh, <coughs> the Bible talks about a worldwide flood. Yeah. How would that happen on a spinning ball, number one? <laughs> number two, the Bible does talk about this molten glass type enclosure. The front of me. That creates a terrarium type atmosphere for right. us, which makes sense. If you ever built a terrarium, it creates the weather and all that. So, but by, by, I hate to break your speech. That's okay. By bringing people to this knowledge that the world truly is flat and everything they tell us is a deception, by bringing people to this knowledge, what are we accomplishing? Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. Everything. Such as, we're number one on top of the list. Number one on top of the list is what our true in? nature, true reality. Our importance. When? That Did we you? were created. When? I, there is such a problem in, on this earth right now. You think about it. I mean, I don't watch a lot of TV, but people in general watch right. TV. We watch media. What are we, what is thrown at us constantly? Violence, hatred towards each other. I mean, Sex. even politics. All kind of stuff. Drugs. Our, our whole existence is about who are we going to attack next as a country? 
Like, what bad thing what happened you, today? Like, that's who all hurt you. who? See, once you realize this deception, you realize immediately that it doesn't matter what Republican, Democrat, that's all not that's right. theater. It all goes away. It's all theater. It all goes away. Matter of fact, you're not going to even want to watch it anymore because you know the magic trick. Once you know the magic trick, you got to know you're in the matrix. You, can't, you don't know if you're in the matrix. All right, how about this? I'll make it easy. If you think you live on a spinning ball hurling through space at crazy numbers, right? Made on accident. You're in a religion and you don't even know it. Right. It's a belief system. Yeah. It's a belief it's system a belief because system. you have no way to prove it. Yeah. Right. You're believing it because authority told you. Right. At and such you're a young talking. age when right. you're just you're learning about, about Earth. Yeah. About in your in kindergarten, you get this. Right. If you lived on this, you would know it, man. If you live on a ball, everywhere you go, it's curvature. <laughs> it's curvature. Everywhere you go, it's curvature. Yeah. Right. Think about it. Everywhere you go, it's curvature. If, if, since you're a Bible-believing Christian man, if there was an evil in this world that wanted to take away what a creator made, right. and he hated God's creation, like the best of his creation, which would be human beings, so what would he do to ruin that? Like he would make it so, he would make it so that it, it's okay that we have genetically modified food. It's okay that we think right. that we came from Monkeys. a big bang right. sludge out of Monkeys. sludge that crawled out of a, you know. Right. Or do you lose? Right. We get the opposite right. guy too. <laughs> so, there's so much about what's going on with human beings now that we are so far distanced from who we are and our right. importance. I mean, our yeah. health how we treat each other, how we treat the if land, we knew, the creation. We, if we all knew we were created and special, we would protect what we have. Right, and be nice to each other. We Get would by. stand right. up for our, right. ourselves. We would. And why is that a threat? Because if we all did that, they couldn't people kill us. would just be, be taken out. Yeah. Well, we wouldn't be doing nonsense. You know somebody's actually looking if you're trying to do a bad thing and not. Yeah. You start to take accountability for your actions. You well, know? I know when I, I was raised always Christian, but I went to church and I prayed and I received the Holy Spirit. Awesome. And I was baptized. And I knew that was from God. Yeah. Okay, no one else could tell me different. Right. You know, you know it's God. Yep. And God gave me an insight to see more clearly the evil that's around. Yeah. I come from a very clairvoyant family. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we see things, we feel things. Uh, a lot of my relatives could be uh, vested, they'll tell you what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. That's why you walked into this room, because you yep. knew we were here. <laughs> yeah. You felt that. I was yeah. just thinking that you were meant I to felt be an energy right If you're being woken up, you're being woken up for a reason. Right. Yes. So once you wake up, yes. you wake other people's up to deception, yes. and that's what's going on right now. Right. It's spreading like wildfire. And like, and like our friend Dave says, right? He goes, you know, like, you, 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 you meet all the Ten Commandments. Believe them. Yeah. Right. They do. Everything. Yeah. You, know, you can kill people, lie. Yeah. <laughs> you know? They made it all legal. So well, this will wake people up to, you know, my father told me when John F. Kennedy was assassinated in 1963, my father said, oh, I was watching it and I said to my father, oh my God, that Lee, Lee Harvey Oswald, he, he killed. My father said, no son, he didn't kill nobody. Mm -hmm. That's what right. What do you mean, look, it says on TV, yeah, look what they say. Yep. Oh, yeah. He set me down. Wow, he was smart. We live yeah. in a very evil society. Really smart. Right. And then they killed either four people or six people in that because heart. Because right. treasury, he wanted to give back the treasury back to the... He wanted to print his own money. Yeah. He, so you he understand knew there's about right. the secret society. So yeah. he knew, right. He, you understand that there was an agenda. Involved and they were that scared that he was going to tell people of, yeah, yeah, about right. the lie. So they killed him. One bullet this way, one bullet that way. Yeah. And then immediately... Lyndon B. Johnson was sworn in. Right. Immediately it's then, theater, man. the Bush administration took over after that. Yep. And they're Illuminati straight from hell. Yep, they are. You're straight so right. from the devil. Yep, so right. Well, now you know. The, they all are. Preston yeah. Bush was a bootlegger, I think. Yeah, well, he, he comes from a very corrupted family. They don't believe in God. 
you know, when you believe in God and truly love God, you will soon, like the Bible said, you will see their fruits. Right. They bear good fruit. It's, it is certain right. false gods. But then when you yeah. when you see evil people, what are they going to bear? Lies, corruption, deception, yeah. right. corruption is all about money. Uh, a lot of politicians turn their face and allow certain crimes to come in this country so they can line their pockets. I, I, Absolutely. I, they're the ones who are, they're the drug dollars. lords. Right. They yeah, are the, the drug, drug lords. lords. Yeah. They get 52, yeah. um, excuse me, 53 million dollars a day. That's NASA gets fifty-three million a day. Fifty-three million a day, a day right? A day. We don't even have. We don't even feed. We're not even taking care of, of um. Well, the children are starving. Yes. Right? Yes. Children are starving. Yes. Right. So you understand the satanic lie? It's right? bigger a than day. you thought. A day. <laughs> a day. A day. A day. So what? So there's another motivation as well. Steve, if they're making that kind of money, it's like we're crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, and we're sitting back here. You know what? Yeah. You think we're crazy? That's the first thing you'll look safety. You're, oh, you're insane. You're crazy. You're out of here. Rapping as well. Oh, yeah. crazy. Some people, when I talk to them about God, they look at you. Okay, Looney Tunes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've gotten so far away from all of that. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I hear you. But uh, <clears throat> I know a lot about what you've spoken about and the severe corruption that's in America. Yeah, yeah. And. But I do know one thing, that God is still on the throne. Yes. When the Bible says everything that was hidden must it be It may what? not go our must be way. Revealed, right? revealed. Yeah. It's must not going to go the way we think it should go. Right. Right. We, we think, oh, well, if God's in control, everything's going to be roses. No. Hunky dory. <laughs> it's not going to go that way. It might get a lot harder. It's it will. Be well, it'll get harder before it get better. But right. when people start, it's a, it's a, I don't know if you experienced it, but it was almost like traumatic. Yeah. When when I realized the deception, I literally oh, you was through, crying. You go through all the stages of grief. Right. I was yeah. literally and like, some of us are still struggling with it. Right. Yeah. It's exactly. Yeah. I was like, oh, are you are you this is this is this is not just some old uh who who shot the president. Uh yeah. then this is not and this could be easily proven, man. But and you know, I'll, I'll tell suddenly, you what happened to my wife. <clears throat> she does uh counseling. And people come to her to talk get help and she through her counseling she tells them about God mm -hmm. and this one guy came and he worked for the government he came in a black limousine there was two CIA agents outside of the house where he came to the house <laughs> Man. and he said if I talk to you it's very important that you do not tell anyone Mm. My he, wife said, I never tell anyone. I no. never talk about this. Even to my immediate family. The only body I can reveal it to is my husband, and he's not going to tell anyone. Yeah. Okay. He explained and told her that he worked for the government. And the deception and the lies and everything that's going on. It was a two hour wow. conversation about everything and he said that I found God mm. and I want to leave I can't take it no more I want to quit this job want to clear his conscience a little she but it's kind of like the mafia they don't let you out yeah right. she prayed with him and he said I fear my life because I think that they know that I want to yeah out. Leave. some of the best ways of doing that is usually the people that become whistleblowers and they get it out like go live get it to channel and then a lot well, of people follow them and then they are a little bit protected but it's not yeah right yeah. this man came to the house three times he was supposed to come the fourth time disappeared oh no my wife tried to call him mm. Mm. and for one month no. i okay. seen this strange car parked and watching my house for one month. Oh so there's a chance he's alive and hiding somewhere. That could be. Maybe. Yep. I hope that's the case. Me too. I hope so too. But he did receive Christ. My wife prayed for him. Well, then wherever he is, he's safe. <laughs> Amen. We'll he's safe. That. Yeah. Yep. But I know the world is going to. The government wants to give us a number system. The mark of the beast. Yeah. They want to implant the chip. Yep. They're already doing it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And in the Bible it says you cannot buy, sell, trade. Right. Without it. 
without it. Right. And I know we're in the last days. Yeah. Yeah. So all we can do is pray. Right. I agree. And try and stay in the spirit of God. And God will protect us. Yeah. You know, God is not a liar. That's right. You know, you'll never leave us nor forsake us. I agree. You know, and you know, the people that know all this knowledge, it's a good thing because we know what's coming. We know what to look at. Yeah. We know what's their next step, you know, right. what they're going to do, what they're not going to do. Right, they're going to probably you know, fake an alien attack or a fake asteroid. Or... Yeah, they talk about aliens too that they... Right, they're really talking about attacks. Fake. Yeah, aliens yeah. are really... Fake. Right, because if, if, they, if yeah. they want you to believe in aliens, you know why? Because if the aliens are real, that means space is real. Correct. The only aliens would be the demons. The demons. Yes, that's, that's it. That's demons. It. Yes, I've seen them. Me too. Well, I'm here. You've seen a demon? I've had an well, of experience. Course. Well, Tell me what did you see? What did we call it this experience? experience? I, I actually have a video log about it. I didn't know cool. about going into all this, but I, I had when I was in when I was eight years old is when I came to Christ. That's when I accepted Christ as my savior. And everything starts changing after that. When you, oh, yeah, when you, you make identity. a yeah, when you make a an audible testament of what you've done, yep, right. all of a sudden you're a target. Yep. You're and, an enemy, yeah. Yep, when I was eight years old, I had a visitation in the middle of the night of what you would consider quintessential, please don't think I'm crazy, <laughs> no. No, no, but no. I have video log about this, of a, of a gray alien. And it was a gray alien? A gray oh, alien. I, I, I didn't say that. I, yeah. I, was like, I, I have it on a couple videos, yeah. Uh, um, uh, but I did, but at the time, at eight years old, I didn't know what it was. But looking back, I was like, okay, well, it's this creature looking thing with a tiny little body and tiny little arms and legs and big eyes that were just nothing but pupils and almost no mouth and a big giant like egg shaped head. And it looked like a cadaver. It was like, you know, this gray, disgusting, dead looking skin. It didn't look like us where it had like mm -hmm. blood going through its skin. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw this thing outside of my window. Now, where I lived, where my bedroom was when I was eight years old, there was um, an exposed basement below me, so it was two stories up, and there was nothing outside of my window. There was no deck, there was no steps, no and this thing was just, that no trees, it was just all field. This thing was just out there outside of my window, and it was moving like in erratic kind of movements, like aggressive, and it made no sound, but I heard it or felt it in my head saying things that it was angry with me it hated me it was saying heinous words I'd never heard before at eight years old and, and it was um, cursing God now I wish I could remember the name that it had for God but in my head it just translated as in God or the father something like that yep and 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 at the time I didn't know I didn't know really what an alien was and I really didn't know much about demons either but this thing since then I've studied it and I know that many of those things can kind of just morph through windows they can come through walls they can do whatever they want there's no stopping them but at that time all I knew to do in my head because I could not speak was just say Jesus help me that's all I could get out even in my head and that's all you need to that's do. all I needed and then I then I felt a presence behind me and I was not allowed to turn around and see it but I just felt something and it felt like a protective presence Still didn't say anything. I just felt like, okay, I something again. something has my back. <laughs> <laughs> and it allowed that thing outside my window to keep saying bad stuff and, and being aggressive and being violent, but it never allowed it to come through the window or through the, the wall and get to me. And eventually I was able to eke out like some kind of more of a little prayer in my head and all of a sudden the thing just disappeared. And at eight years old, I was like, I, I just recovered from not being able to speak and all this going on, everything kind of got silent, even though there was no words. I don't know how to explain it. It just kind of calmed down, and there was a peace about me. And I climbed up into my bed, which I think I was in a top bunk at that time, took all my little stuffed animals and piled them around me like a little nest, and I fell back asleep. But from that day on, I knew, number one, when I started researching, at eight years old, I'm going to libraries, because we didn't have a computer or phones. You can look stuff up. I went to libraries and started looking up books on what these things were. And I started studying about aliens, UFOs, the government, all this stuff. But I came to the correct conclusion because I knew from firsthand experience that this thing hated God and hated humans, that it was not from outer space. It was specifically there to yes. curse God. And so from a very young age, I knew 
Well, that thing is demonic. That thing is an evil entity. It is not from another planet. We live in a supernatural world. Yeah, it was a demon. It was a demon. We live in a supernatural world. But what's so great is that I I look at it this way. People could look at that and that would, that would destroy them for the rest of their life, having that terrifying experience. But to me, I said, now as an adult, I'm 36 now, that was when I was eight. Now I look at it as in, I am honored to have been put through that situation because I was chosen that, yeah. I, that I was strong enough to go through that. Yeah. And, and that I look at it as in, he did he allowed me to, to witness that and have that experience, but I didn't get hurt. Yeah. So it was just a learning experience for me after that that I could just take away from that. And it prepared me for all the way up until today where I, I am able to look at everything clearer, you know. And I, I, I questioned everything in this world since then. Yep. Well, there are people that are demon-possessed and they're walking off. Hmm? They're, they're demon-possessed. I've seen demons many times. I have also I, had other situations my happen. My wife fights them. Yep. She's um, a prayer warrior. Yeah. And in church, people come in, they're demon possessed, and yep. sometimes the demon actually speaks. Yes. And we pray against them, we uh, we fight them, mm -hmm. but you need the power of Almighty God. Mm -hmm. You know, see, when you say Jesus, the demons tremble. Right? Yes. You understand? Uh, scripture, if you get the scripture, God forgive me, but when Jesus came to a certain part of the island, there was a possessed man. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he was bashing his head and yeah. yep. killing himself. Gnashing his teeth. And... Yeah. Yeah. And then Jesus knew that he was possessed and he commanded those demons to come out of him. Yeah. And the demons was trembling and they said, Oh, holy one, yeah. you've come well, you've come to torture us before our, our the time. Yeah. And please send us in those swine. Yes. Instead yeah. of sending us back to hell. Now imagine how bad hell is. <laughs> yeah. So Jesus cast them into the swine and they fell over the... They went over the cliff. They yeah. ran over the cliff yeah. and yeah. killed themselves. Killed yeah. themselves, yeah. Now, I've witnessed... I've, I've witnessed uh, a Satanist. I'd done work for him. Uh, construction work at his house. He was a multi-billionaire. Right? And he got my number from one of the neighbors that I worked for and he said, oh, you do great work. At the time when he called me, I didn't know he was a Satanist. But when I met him, wait a I, minute, the billions of dollars might give you a clue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, they attract money. And uh, when I met him, I felt the coldness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. uh, the coldness. Oh yeah. Sometimes you even have their smell. See, there's, there's people that are literally with, without any souls. Yeah. Oh, that's what I think. Like without any souls. Like, yeah. Uh, it's cloning, you know, I'm really yeah. like looking into like different things and it's yes. blow your mind. Well, if they lied about, if we don't live on a spinning ball, that means all the other, you, ha you have to question everything, man. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what, and that's what's so good about this. Steve. So, so what about the guy now? I'm sorry. That's oh, right. uh, he wanted the price on uh, repairing his blacktop driveway, doing some work on the house. So I walked around looking at it, get writing out estimates, and then I had to go inside the house. The minute I walked in the house, I felt the presence of demons. Yeah. Demons. Then I seen the inverted cross mm. on a wall. The one that Chelsea Clinton wears. Mm. Yeah. 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 I didn't say anything. And I, at the time, I didn't even want to work for him. You know? You feel it. Yeah. I didn't want to work for him. I felt yeah. the heaviness. Yeah. And, but God told me to witness to him. Yeah. I said a prayer. And I looked him dead in the eye. I said, greater is he that lives in me than he that is of the world. I told him, the devil is a liar. Uh -huh. I know you're a Satanist. Backed up. Don't lie. <laughs> uh, yes, I am. Oh, but wow. with a stern voice. And he said, your God is, is the God of, 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 of Alpha, the Omega. I know who you, who you serve. He is my enemy. And I said, no, he is not your enemy. He loves you. Yeah. Your enemy is Satan. Yeah. And he's using you. And he will destroy you for eternity. God wants to give you life eternal. Mm -hmm. And I said, pray with me. 
Oh, oh. Started shaking violently. Wow. And then the Holy Spirit fell upon me. And then I start. God told me to lay my hands on this man. And when I did, God knocked him off his feet. Oh, my. And he started shaking. I would tell you what happened. When he fell, all of a sudden I see the demonic entities coming out of this body. Coming out of the body. And I kept rebuking. And rebuke you in the name of Jesus. By That's what you have to do. Out loud. Out loud. Out loud. That's out right. Loud. It's a war. It yes. is. We are fighting principalities, yes. not flesh and blood. That's and right. People don't realize no, that. No, they don't realize that. They don't no, see it. They don't. You gotta you gotta be touched by God before your right. eyes are open spiritually. Exactly. So I kept rebuking him in the name of Jesus. I kept putting on the armor of God and the sword and the, for about 20 minutes. Mm. And all of a sudden he raised his hands to God. Help me to repent. I said, yes. Mm. And I walked him through a prayer and he accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. And everything changed. He was no longer part of that cult or Life darkness. Changing. Yeah. I, I don't Amazing. understand why someone would worship Satan when he admits to him, he admits to outwardly that he is a liar. And yeah. then he tells them things. Right. But then yeah. people believe that he's going to follow through with his empty promises. You know what this man told me? I mean, Maybe I don't this understand that. that. You, know, you know how the Freemason line starts? You start at the bottom, the first level Freemason, and then to get initiated to the second level and third level, you have to promise a certain oaths, like yeah. you promise sworn to secrecy. Right. And they have to say, I want the light. And Lucifer being the light bearer, that's what yes. that's, they don't realize right. it at the time. But it gets to the point where there's. The seeds, because they're in this club as it starts out. Yeah, right. And, yeah. And, and it takes these little baby steps. Yeah. So yeah, they yeah. don't notice that the yeah. water's getting hotter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's the right. reason the why he, the boy, the water, the water. Yeah. he became a Satanist because of the money. He loved the money. Mm -hmm. And I said, the you love of money. Sell your soul. The yeah. root of all evil. The love of money. The love of money, right. The, the, yeah, the root of all evil. And he told me. When, when the when the Lord touched him, he never felt that peace in his whole life. Even all the money he had, wow. everything he'd done, he had all these women. He told me, it never, never made him happy. He was always empty, and the devil would torture him mm. while he was a servant. Mm. Now Jesus loves him, and he's happy as can be. He donated the money to to, to children. He gave everything away. And he goes and preaches the word of God. Wow, it's incredible. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we are in the world, but not of the world. Right, this is true. God created us in his own image. We are very special people. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. A lot, see, a lot of people, you know, they feel sorry for themselves. They walk around. Well, that's what they're they, trying to hide. They're walking right. around. Oh, I lost my job. Oh, I don't make enough right. money. They're victims. Oh, I oh, don't have this. Uh, they are. Oh, yeah. I, uh, no, but right. no woman is dating me. Oh, I lost oh, my hair. Oh. These are reasons why all it is because yeah. people... It goes on and on and on. Lie. The whole life is a lie. Don't even know. When I talk right. about Jesus, and I talk about our Creator, and I talk how important we are in the eyes of God, and how special we are, and how much we God loves us, I can't even begin to explain. You mean how we are created yeah. in His image? In His image. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Made, yes. Okay, that's what they're destroying right. by evolution. They don't want us to know yep. that. Evolution, abortion. Yes. yes, they don't want us to know that. Yeah. They got, they got cloned, literally, today they're literally cloning people. I heard something about and, that. And uh, that's. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, and they're cloning there. people. They're literally oh, cloning there's, there's people. Oh, there's not a soul there. It's not. It's man born without natural affection. They say right. in yeah. the Bible, man born without natural affection. Man born Could, without. You know, I've heard. Could that be the? Uh, I've heard about that. And I, I spoke to one guy. He was a big scientist, and he told me they're doing cloning. Oh, Sweden. They opened up that tunnel. So, oh! Yeah. Did you hear about that? Oh, oh no, so the, the train the tunnel. tunnel. That tunnel, yeah. The train oh. tunnel. Yeah. Oh, the train tunnel. Where they opened up something there. And they now. had that demonic uh, opening ceremony. Yeah, where yeah. they're jumping around and they're going and they're... Yeah, and the guy with the horns and yeah. the boobs and the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Baphomet. Yeah, Baphomet, right. That's right. Yeah. Baphomet. So what is that all about? That they're These just people that serve a different God. They're, they're brazen and they're coming right out with it and they don't yeah. care. Okay, how about this? This is what I'm gonna tell you. It's a literally a war. 
against good versus evil. Yeah, it's been that it's way it, since the creation. Right? And that's why you asked that question earlier. You said, well, what's the importance? That's the question we get all the time. Well, what does this matter? Well, it matters about everything. Where do I start? Yeah. I mean, like, it, it matters about everything. Like, well, you, you know, that's why this is important. I and then you once you and once you're aware of this, you uh, start to realize it's not even about the flat earth. Yeah. It's about the the, the, the reason why of the deception. You know, like the, the the why did they do it? And it's clear. Yeah. Well, in in Revelation it says, in the last days there will be a huge deception. And we kind of think that this is pretty this is, huge. This is, this is yes. Oh, this is the, the mother of all high. Yeah. The grand deception. We think there's you something could be bigger than right. this one. The only thing bigger is that, God forgive me, is that they're saying there is no God. Well, that's well, what they're know, saying. That's, they're hiding well, well, God and his there's no well, we, well, we see and that. But this is the, we're, we're, well, they, they can, the people can try to hide God all they want. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's on them. This is the mother of all lies. I it's think so. Changing people's reality just so you can control them. Yeah. We work for them, man. Oh, Why yeah. do you think 99% is controlled by 1%? Yeah. Why is yeah. it like that for them? It's not right. You know, a gentleman told me he worked all his life in a factory and he died broke. Hmm. His son told me he got my father died broke. The they gave him a gold watch. He died broke. Is that the way it's supposed to be in America? No. The greatest country in the world? Yeah. And we can't take care of our veterans? What's so great oh, about it? That's What's terrible. that about? Yeah, well they send them off to war, they get blown apart, they come back with no legs. Now yeah. we can't take care fake. of them. Right. And that's why that, that's going to stop if people are waking up to this. And we are giving money right. to foreign countries. Well, what did Obama do? He gave millions and millions He's of dollars to our enemy. I feel so, so bad because I voted for him, him and he knows about the deception. He knows about it. They're, they're, they're all, all in bigger, on it. There's no Republican Democrat. Right. It's all the same. It's, all it's, it's the ruling right. class and the rest of us. Yeah. Right. That's what it's about. So you, I don't even vote. No, I'm not, I, I stopped. Not going no more I stopped. Either. And I, I used to be out it. there. I used to be at the polls right. campaigning all yeah, the time. Yeah, because we were, we're right indoctrinated. Now, hey, hey, go. You know, we're so indoctrinated. <laughs> and once you wake up, I, I, literally, I cannot <laughs> watch any. I heard you say this one on um, on you your know, last interview. It's funny because. You can't watch anything on TV. Like, yeah. we literally, I'm watching and trying to find something on TV. Like people, no. they all knew no. this years ago. Well, it's in your culture. Yeah. Yes. See, it's Your not parents. in our culture. Your parents. We we go to the public schools, the yeah. government indoctrination centers. They yes. call schools. Yeah. yeah. They make the books. What the McNally books? They, everybody gets the same books. Yeah. It's, and guess what? When you're a kid, right? What's yeah. the first thing you see? When yeah. you're four or five, this is it. This is. They say, okay. "Hey, you live right here." here. <laughs> and every classroom had a spin ball in it. And you're not going to question it, are you? Going to be like, "Oh, okay, all right, fair enough." And they put it, it's illustration of a of our earth right in front of you and say hey you're not going to question it right so every year right steve right every steve. year they Wait, just keep like this beautiful woman is coming over to give him something yeah. Yeah. To to you. <laughs> come on now say no more <laughs> i got i got nothing this was at our conference this is the second one we had one last year they okay. they made a movie you watch this oh, and it, it will really thank you so much and I just want to thank you for stopping in. You may stand, you may have Steve, something to, yeah, so that is, that is something to join us, but but thank please. you so much. Oh, 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 yeah. Please, please. God bless. Yeah, I enjoyed this. Is there a number I can, is there a number I can call you guys once in a while? Yes. yes. Yeah. Are Are you on Facebook by any chance? Oh uh, no. I think okay. I'm the only person in the world that's not on Facebook. <laughs> All right. But I'll give you my phone number and my uh, yes. email. Yes. Oh, oh so great. Also, so Steve. Great. Steve you you are aware that we are recording it, and yeah. if we use this for educational purposes only, awesome. we have your permission. What's your name? You said some fantastic stuff. And mm -hmm. Where do you guys live? We're all over. All over. Well, five and a half hours later, and I am on my way home. Our uh, Flat Earth PA meetup is over, and I think it was a success. Um, and I had a. Uh, an absolute fantastic time. Um, nothing went as planned, but it kind of like the meeting organically grew and I think what became of it was just perfect. So I'll, I'll set you guys up. What happened was um, I actually ended up showing up and there was no one else there. Although Marilyn was in the building, I thought no one had gotten there yet. It turns out only four of us showed up, which is a very small group. But um, it, 
was more of an intimate group. We really had a good time chatting and talking and sharing. Of course, five and a half hours went by so quickly. I'm on my way home now. Uh, it, it takes me over a little over two hours to get home. So I've been in the car for a little while. I travel in the tur I was traveling the turnpike and I didn't want to turn my light on and while well, I was going faster. Now I'm on a, a, a smaller highway and not traveling so fast. So. Um, Anyway, um, just the four of us, but it was very, very enjoyable. We had some uh, food, and it wasn't finger food. Actually, Marilyn actually um, had ordered some hot food. I didn't realize that, but there's like four different types of hot food, and it was all either vegan or vegetarian, uh, just in case we had, um, and we did have one gentleman that was vegan, and I didn't mind that at all. I'm completely okay with that kind of um, menu, and the food was fantastic. We had stuff like, there was um, a macaroni and cheese. That was the only thing that had cheese in it that was not really vegan. And then the other dishes were like sauteed um, or like roasted vegetables. And I think the, the one dish had like quinoa and some other grains. Um, very, very good. And then Marilyn brought like uh, bread and coconut oil or like a coconut spread in case you wanted more uh, other snacks and some gluten-free pretzels. It, it was just perfect <clears throat> and the four of us were kind of like sitting down and dining and just kind of waiting to see if anybody else showed up basically from like noon till I think it was 1 1 30 maybe we were just gonna be hanging out and um, like fellowshipping and dining uh, and then we were gonna have like Mar I think Marilyn was gonna speak a little bit and um, Brother Ernest Pearson was going to be speaking, but he didn't show up, and I don't know what the situation is there. And then I was going to have a little bit of a, a speaking piece. But instead, um, because people, some people didn't show up, and also because um, we had kind of a little bit of an interruption, things kind of went, took a different turn. But it was so neat, because this, a bunch of people, because of where we were, we had our door open, and we had a big, uh, Marilyn had a big flat earth uh, Gleason map on the door and then a sign that said flat earth meeting, you know, this way. And I mean, every other person that walked by was either giggling, taking pictures of it, taking selfies with the map, uh, pointing and staring and some people even like yelled stuff into the room. And so this one gentleman walked by, well actually he didn't walk by, he walked up to the door, started reading it and then um, he was pushing a Wegmans car because that's where we were in a Wegmans cafe. And he just uh, pushes his cart into the door and comes in and starts asking questions. And we were just like, you know, he was very respectful. And we just let him come in and we were like, you know, whatever questions you have, we'll, we'll answer them to the best of our uh, knowledge. And he was very, very open-minded. This gentleman was all the right questions but he listened to us as we explained and, and actually the one gentleman um, Richard uh, Lopez has all of this on video like just spur the moment set, he was holding his camera and then I had a little tripod he ended up setting it on and the four of us and this gentleman so the five of us in this room just all went back and forth like a big fantastic conversation for quite a long time him just asking questions and us answering to the best of our knowledge um, and he even schooled us on some things he talked about like the Illuminati and genetically modified food and fluoride, fluoride in the water and um, religion and I mean just all kinds of stuff he was very very open minded and didn't wasn't negative and didn't poke fun of us one bit and he literally felt like he had been led to that room and led to our door to walk in there and we had just a, a, an amazing conversation until we left. Uh, Marilyn uh, gave him a copy. She had a couple copies of the Scientism Exposed 2, which we got from the Flat Earth International Conference. That was a Robbie Davidson production video. Very good, by the way. And she um, gave him a copy of that. And we all exchanged numbers and like emails and information. He wants to keep in contact with us and he wants to know we're having our next meeting because he wants to come. And uh, Marilyn had all these poster boards with all this information and she had like a little uh, azimuthal equidistant projection model. I know everybody hates that because it looks like a disc floating in space, but it, it's, it's not. It's just a nice, you know, uh, visual that you can show 
show people, look, this is what we think, what we know of as far as the land masses looks like, you know? And uh, it, it's a good visual learning tool. And we were able to show him how the sun and the moon work. I mean, we just went over all kinds of stuff. It's all in the video. Um, Richard's gonna send it to me and I hope to add it to this this uh, video log. Um, anyway, it was just absolutely incredible conversation. I was like, are we being pranked? <laughs> I thought this guy was actually gonna be like, like part way through, like half an hour into it, I thought he was gonna be like, psych, I'm actually so-and-so on the list and I'm just a flat earther, but he wasn't. It was just so, like, mind-blowing that he just was that intrigued that he came in and we were able to have this, like, perfect human conversation with this complete stranger. Um, and then Marilyn also had a conversation, I think, before any of us got there with one of the other, um, the ladies, I think, that was, like, catering and bringing food back and forth or else a waitressing. And then after everything was done, we cleaned up around 3.30 or 4 and left that uh, room that we had rented um, and we all just went out and sat at the bar and the four of us and just kept talking and kept chatting because no one wants to you know let it end and uh, Richard ended up um, addressing the, the bartender and she got she was really into it she was asking all these great questions she wasn't offended she wasn't uh, negative she wasn't making fun of us she kept coming back she must have come back maybe six times let me ask you this question or what about this she wasn't annoyed that we you know uh, addressed her um, and Marilyn ended up giving her a copy also of the scientism exposed and we gave her Marilyn had um, these little pieces of paper with printed off like a little experiment and then some things to research which was awesome just little handouts and um, we ended up I ended up flipping one of those over and I wrote uh, enclosedworld.com and testingtheglobe.com and uh, Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs and a couple other websites and channels she could check out and contact information. Just really, really awesome. So even though uh, you know we had the day planned completely differently and none of it went as planned, um, it still turned out very, very successful. Very successful as far as, I mean, our goal was to, yes, get together and meet each other and um, fellowship and we did that and we also did a lot of activism right there one-on-one -on -one. Um, we also planted a lot of seeds and we uh, we organized and planned other events and other meetups for the future very excited about things that we want to do in the future as far as like reaching out to the community not just getting together for us to hang out you know um, like setting up vendors at like the Harrisburg Farm Show Complex for some of their, um, they have big shows that they put on. There's like a, a, a horse, like an equine show coming up here. I think Marilyn said it was in March. And we want to get together and do like some professional things where we do almost like seminars and videotape it and invite the public, really get good at it, invite the public and then record it and put that out on as videos too. And everybody have different subjects that they cover. You know, we have some really, really big, um, dreams and goals so you know it was only four of us and this is just the beginning I really think the next uh, meetup is going to we're going to grow and um, I did want to kind of put this out there to it's unfortunate a lot of other people weren't able to make it and I totally understand every things happen I get it I, and I've missed out in fact I did find out that there has been a meetup in Philadelphia Pennsylvania in the past and then it did kind of spur a memory that I, re I remember someone saying about it. And at that point in time, I wasn't able to go. So I totally understand when you want to go, you want to go. And then things come up, emergencies or, you know, life happens and you're not able to go. Uh, but we missed all of you that weren't able to show up. And you know who you are. Um, but I do want to throw this out to, there to the people that didn't show up because they were afraid to. Because I know where you're coming from, it's, it can be very nerve-wracking, especially when you're know and socialize with people for so long on social media and it's just texting back and forth or on Facebook, or even if you do call and talk to each other, or even if you like do the Skype thing and you see each other, it's still not the same as meeting each other face-to-face, -face. and it's society.
society has made that a thing for us to fear. And don't let it do that to you. Sorry, I'm hitting ugh, rumble strips. Um, don't let it do that to you. I'm just putting that out there right now. Find your brave and get to a meetup. Um, I have like, severe anxiety. I mean, I've had fear and anxiety issues my whole life. And I'm not saying, I'm not throwing that in anybody's faces. I'm just saying I know where you're coming from. Get past it because it'll make it easier and easier and easier each time. And let me tell you, it's like a dose of good medicine to be able to go see people that understand where you're coming from and feel and think the same way you do. So, you know, I know you can do it. Get out there. <laughs> um, our next meeting is going to be February 25th, I think. And I'm hoping that this time I'll, I'll prepare enough and I'm going to try to make like some advertising videos to put out there. Um, advertise for more so we can get more uh, participation so this was just the beginning but we did accomplish everything we wanted to it just wasn't in organized fashion that it was planned but um, we did we just we accomplished a lot and planned a lot for the future so I would say it was definitely successful and literally whenever I realized there was only like three of us there at that time I said you know honestly if, if no one else shows up the three of us are going to have uh, a great time and it's still worth it even if two people showed up it's still worth it but there's four of us and like I said we we maybe we might have added at least two people that seem very convinced who knows maybe they'll come to the next meeting it's all about planting seeds and it's all about um, moving forward with this truth the most important part of it is the human beings us but we need more of us so I'm going to see about getting that um, video from the gentleman that recorded our conversation with this uh, the stranger that walked in on us and uh, try to add that to this video log and a couple other pictures and some video I took of the actual little meetup. So I love all you guys. Thanks for watching and listening in and following along. If you like my videos, feel free to share. Share in your group, share on your page if you're, you know, public or if you're, um, yeah, I mean, if, if you're into sharing the flatter stuff on your page, I know not everybody does. Um, you know, if, if you like it, hit the like button, share it because I would love to have, I would love to have, uh, grow my subscriber list so that I can reach more people. That really is a big goal of mine, especially for 2018. Some of my goals are like, reaching out to more people, whether it be um, on YouTube or Facebook, but also uh, literally face-to-face -face in person and get to more meetups, whether it's like in the, the states surrounding me. I mean, I like to travel. I like to take these little road trips. Um, I also want to build up like a website so I have a, like one spot where a lot of the stuff I've done in the past, my work can be all there. I have the YouTube channel, but I have so much art and other things that I would love to share um, that aren't on a video, you know? And I would like to put that all in one, in one place. And I was even talking to the group today that the public speaking is definitely something I want to get more into, which is insane because, like I said, I struggle with anxiety. But I think that's my next step I'm being pushed into. So instead of just doing what I do on video, I want to get better at speaking in public and not letting that, you know, hold me back. So there it is, 2018. There's some of my <laughs> my future goals. So, And today helped that, you know, going to this first meetup. My first ever meetup was the international conference, which was, like, mind-blowing and super, like, overstimulated, like, overwhelmed all these people. And <laughs> I loved it. Uh, and this was so much smaller and intimate, and it was just perfect. So I'm almost home. Like I said, I love you guys, and as always, please enjoy your flat earth experience.